This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. We are working on the steps to connection and isolating them. Trudy, the first thing she asked me again today, this is the second week in between a horse show. And uh, she's now asked me, to, what does she need to do to keep Annie connected? And that would be the steps to connection. So first, is she giving you the jaw? Okay, she's saying no way, so you've got to tell her yes way. Yes, so what do you have to do to have her soften at the jaw? Soften one outside side for... Rain, That's right. <laughs> she's saying outside rain, outside leg. She's using them at the same time Annie's hind leg is going up. So if it's the outside, it would be now. Now. Now, good, good, good. Now you notice it didn't take you long to put her back together. No, she's just distracted. She's such a brat. Yeah, she... She's not a brat. She's a big baby. Where's her pole? A little, maybe a little too long. That's right. Can you see between? On this side? That's right. Can you see between her ears? I can. Okay. All right. Ask her to trot. Soften her jaw. Whoop. Soften her jaw. Soften her pole. Make sure she's giving you her neck so she's picked you up under the saddle. So step one, the horse softens the jaw. Then they soften the pole. Then they loosen their neck, which results in them picking the rider up under the saddle. Usually that the rider can feel it the most on the outside rein and leg. Soften her jaw and pull on the outside rein. Yep, until you feel her pick you up. Tell me when she's picking you up at the trot. Using your outside rein and leg. There, feel it? A little bit, yep. Yep, it'll just be a little bit. Now you've got to keep her back up when you come to the walk. It's all right. It's okay. This is what you wanted to work on was the steps to connection, right? So thank you for showing the world what's probably going to happen to them. There's nothing Annie's doing wrong. It's the eighth or ninth time we've asked her to be on contact. That's from the leg to the rain. She's so this is. Got the out. Oh. So it's new to her. Good. Is she? Yep. Soften the outside rein. Soften the outside pole. Make sure she's picking you up under her seat. There. Keep asking her. Keep asking her, keep asking her, keep asking. You've got to ask her a lot more. There. Demand it. That's it. Demand it. Soften her jaw, soften her pole. She has to stay connected with you. Praise her. There. Feel the difference? Oh, how did that feel difference, Trudy? That was much better. I asked for it. Good. Get her pole up. You're going to change directions. And again, She's doing a smaller circle here, a circle around me, just so you can see what we're doing with the steps connection. She's so busy looking at the world. Well, that's the way green horse, you know, young horses are. Even though, you know, for the level of training she's at. When she's 20? No, maybe when she's 25. <laughs> but, you know, this is what you wanted to work on, was getting her to places where she's... Pay I just don't want to call her a baby anymore, a green horse. I feel like she's beyond that, but then she does green horse stuff. Well, yes, and that's the way it is with a lot of people. You know, she's just got the green tendencies, and all that is is in dressage lingo. We consider that green because we expect her to stay connected. So as she stays more connected, that's more, that's right. So you're expecting more from her, like that's a green horse thing. That's not a bad thing. It's just a label. So connect her more with the steps to connection. Yep, demand it. Yep, and that's what you're going to say. When she says no, you're going to say yes. Yes! Tell her! Good! Praise her! Okay, I'm going to go by that spot. She wants to be stupid. Then I'll ask her. All right. She's saying she's going to take her by the spot she gets stuck at. Now think a little leg yield when you get to the spot where she gets stuck at. Just look in between her ears. That's right. Bump her up. Bump her up. Bump her up. Bump her up. Don't let her feet slow down. So whenever she gets to where she's looking at Susan bringing Bo in, get her feet moving. That's right. She's just watching Bo come up from the field. Yeah, that's right. So you can use that as a way to get her to connect with you more. That's right. Yes, yes. So ask her the steps to connection. She's going to be looking at Bo now. Ask, demand it. Demand it. Praise her. That's right. Send her forward. Ask her to give you the connection. Good, 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 Trudy. Start doing serpentine. Start doing something different now, keeping her connected. With the steps to connection, first you soften the jaw, soften the pole, always adding your leg on the same side, getting her to stretch her neck out a little bit, using your outside rein to keep her under your seat. 
Outside rein and leg, check. Soften the jaw, soften the pole. See if she's on your outside rein and leg. You should be able to see through her ears. By seeing through her ears, what it does is it teaches a rider to ride the horse's shoulders instead of just turning their heads on a circle. You'll find when you try this on your horse, you may not be able to see between your horse's ears. If you can't, you're not, you don't have their head in the right position for a curve or a circle. Good. Change directions. Make sure you can see through her ears. That's it. What do you feel different in your connection now? That's right. You had to demand it a little bit, didn't you? Oh, yes. Prepare. I don't care if she went and she doesn't throw her head all over the place. That's right. And get, get a little bit uh, where they start getting really distracted. All right, now you're not going to do it in that spot, but anywhere else, you're going to keep her connected with the steps of connection into a walk. Keep her connected. Keep her connected. Slow down the steps. Oh, that was too abrupt. That's right. Now, and, and it wasn't too bad, but you could feel she disconnected a little bit, right? She oh, she probably did think she was getting cookies. Take it. She just said she's sorry she has to have a sense of humor about this. And, and that's true with anybody going through the training process. Oh, that was much Good. better. Good girl. Pull up. Right, yep. So I can keep the connection. You keep praise with your voice so you don't lose the connection. Pick her pole up and go into the trot. And so what she just said there is her tendency is when the, when Annie gives to her, she's been giving her the rein completely and Annie takes advantage of that. So I've asked her to praise her with her voice instead of letting the rein go. That's right. Play with the steps to connection. Praise her when she gives you her jaw, her pole, or her neck. That's it. You're just not going to stop in that corner. Yes, because we know she already has the tendency to get goofy there, right? So that's where I wouldn't be doing transitions right now. Good. That's right. You can start using the whole ring and just start playing with That's really nice how she's positioning now, isn't it? That's right. She's over-tracking. How did that one feel? Oh, still a little she dropped her back. So you lost your connection on the outside rein and leg, theoretically. So you will got a plague. Is she saying yes to your inside rein, leg, inside rein, pole, and neck? And then check the outside. So your last steps, you have to make sure she's under your seat with your outside leg and rein. Oh, feel the difference? That was better. That was much better. That was very good. So the steps to connection are first the horse softens the jaw, then their pole, then they give the neck, which lifts up their back. And all, the entire time the rider's using their leg, Trudy's using her leg at the same time, and the leg is what controls the horse's back end in their rib cage. So that would be step four, is making sure the horse is actually responding from your leg. At first all you may be able to really think about is what they're doing with your hands. And as long as you're using the leg on the same side at the same time as you use your rein, that you'll be developing the basics you need for the rest of it. Good. Okay, now we're going to do short trot, longer trot. So you're just going to shorten the trot as much as she'll let you, keeping her connected. That's all right. We've never asked her to do this before. That's right. And then you're going to go to a working trot, keeping her connected. And then back to a shorter trot, just shortening the steps, keeping her connected. Soften her jaw, soften her pole, soften her neck, and then lengthen the trot, keeping her connected. Nice, Trudy. Watch your posting. Yep, so when you feel yourself bouncing out of the saddle, you really are bouncing out. You can feel it, can't you? That's where you've got to press. That's it. You sit two, rise one, and it'll help you fix that tendency. Because most riders do post faster than their horse. Good, good. So you're going to think when you do the set two, that's really going to be your half halt to get her to pick up her back more. That's right. Soften her jaw, soften her pole. Good. Okay, bring her over this way. Prepare for a halt and bring her to a halt, keeping her under your seat with your outside rein and leg. Good. Bring her to me. Tell me what you were feeling with your steps to connection at the trot. You definitely have to put it up 
put it all together. Yes. Or their heads going everywhere. And she really, she, a couple of times she sounded like she was about to throw up because she was trying to win it. That's right. <laughs> she did. She, um, but she kept. You kept her attention I kept very her nicely. her attention and she still had to whine a little bit. That's but. right. That's right. So that's how, and that's what you'll do at the next show where she loses her focus. You'll just take it back. And I tried to. I really did. Oh, yeah. We could see that. But that's just where she is right now. Yeah. She's she's green in an indoor ring. Yes. So we'll practice she's more She's green that. in a show. Yep. And that's all right. With the judges and the people sitting down and there. And a covered that's ring. something she's got to get used to. That's right. That was great. Thank you, Trudy. Thank you.